Throughout the conference, many of you have shared your hopes for the future. You should not be surprised that you are a hopeful and inspiring bunch. Your vision for expanding the world of possibilities for aging helps to lay a foundation for what our association's work will be for the next 50 years. Let's take a look at what that sounds like as you have expressed those in uh, video while you've been here. I hope that I and the people I love have freedom, that we're happy, that we have some choice and control over how our lives unfold. The future for senior care is to go out into the community and give, bring services into the community to people in their homes because that's really where people want to be. There are so many people now that don't have the choices that they need in, the, in certainly rural communities and small communities. And I hope that our legislators and our congressional representatives um, really start get, to get the message that we need to build an infrastructure for the boom that is coming and for us as well. If we could work out a system where seniors and the developers would work together, we would have much better facilities and the care would be much better. We have to look at reimbursement for long-term care services very seriously and look at new and more flexible options. And there's a lot of interest, there's a lot of funding available for assisted living. But it will take some changes on behalf of state governments and CMS to acknowledge the fact that assisted living really is an important part of home and community-based services. I think the future of aging is you and me. I think it's services that we haven't even conceived of yet for ourselves, our friends, and our neighbors to provide the best care and opportunities. And we've got a lot of learning to do on our journey. I think everything, every service delivered should be as exciting as an iPad so that as people need more assistance and more help, they're actually excited about getting it and it helps them to keep alive and well rather than just cope. My hope for the future of aging is to see more leading age members on social media. My hope for the future of aging is that aging is actually seen as something positive. We can inspire our society to change, um, to expect seniors to be brave and independent. We're trying to tell the people and trying to encourage people that even though they're at advanced age, they can do athletics. As Larry Minnick said, you know, aging is, is not for sissies. And so we're, we're really trying to develop a really great program for us so we can have, have a ball and enjoy our, our years. My biggest hope for the future of aging services is that caregiving is considered an honored career with public policymakers, with family members, and in our greater society. For the older folks, my real dream is that none of them ever have to worry if they have the resources to get the care that they need. I find my colleagues who are moving into my facility have done a lot of research. They've visited many places. They've done spreadsheets. They're a different breed, and uh, we've got to be ready for this change that's coming. My hopes for the future of aging services is that the individuals involved remember that paperwork and policies and funding and technology only go so far. It's still about the person-to-person -person interaction. It's still about showing that caring touch. If that isn't there, nothing else matters.